before we begin the refraction, it's very important that we select to the appropriate trial frame after taking the interpupillary distance measurement. So, available today, we have these wonderful trial frames. blue trial frame here, we have the black, beautiful black, we have a bright yellow, we have the green here, and the pink at the top, they all go up in two millimeter increments. So before we place the trial frame on you, to take the interpupillary distance measurement. So we're going to use this ruler here. Excellent. I'll just get it set up for you. Okay, so I need to be on your eye line. Rest the ruler just on the forehead here. Okay, now just look into this eye, please. And this eye. This one. This one. This one. And this one. Excellent. So we have a reading of 62 millimeters between the two eyes. Let's have a look which frame that correlates to. 62 millimeters. Oh yes, 62 millimeters is the yellow trial frame here. So this is the trial frame we'll be using today. It's a 62 millimeter setting, the distance between the center of the holders there is 62 millimeters lenses will be perfect for your optical centers. Let's take the frame out the case for you. You have to be very delicate, very careful. is your brand new yellow trial frame for your refraction. So pop this on in a moment, we'll perform some retinoscopy, we'll do some with or without the lens, and some lens one or two, lens one, lens two. Have a little look, there is your new trial frame, we have three areas here, so we can hold three lenses in place, potentially. And those grooves there. The metal supports here. We also have a slot at the rear of the frame. If we need to place some lenses there. The length to bend is preset from there. But these have a wraparound design. So they'll stay on your face much more easily, so we won't have to do any adjustments to the sides of the frame there. We also have the twizzle here for rotating lenses. When we're checking your astigmatism, when we're checking your astigmatic element, astigmatic element. And you have the scale here. So we can align the cylinder at the correct axis. That gives you the best vision. Okay, so let's get the trial frame on and perform some retinoscopy for you. Okay, so now that the trial frame is sitting on you comfortably, we need to place a plus 1.5 diopter sphere lens. 
elements in place just to do some retinoscopy. Okay, so we'll pop this in the trial frame. The vision might go a little bit blurry there. Do not fear. Okay, just looking into the distance while well, I have a little look with the retinoscope just sweeping the light in different meridians and maybe changing the lens around I just want to place a plus two diopter sphere into the frame. Let's just move the trial frame across on you. There we go. Okay. Keep looking into the distance, please. to reduce this to a plus one seven five keep looking to the distance just turn your head slightly please good this should be the last lens we need to try. Excellent. Okay. Let's just remove this lens here. We should do some subjective, a subjective refraction, showing you some lenses to see if we can make the letters a little bit clearer for you. Okay. Okay, so as you're looking at the letter chart, what is the smallest row? You can read for me, please. And the next row down, if possible. Just read that row left to right for me now. Okay, as you're looking at that row, I'm going to present some lenses. Just tell me if that row is clear with or without the lens. So, that's with. Or clear or without. Show a with. Without. Without. Okay, let's try the next lens. And the smallest row you can see. Sharper with the lens or without? With. Without. Excellent. Okay, we'll leave that one out. Okay, let's try some different powered lens. It's the smallest row you can see. Clear with the lens or without? That's with. Okay, I'll place that lens in if it's a little bit clearer. There we go. Excellent. Oh, let's just pop it in. There. Excellent. That a little bit sharper with the lens in place. Excellent. Okay, let's show you this minus L50 diopter sphere. Is the smallest row sharper with the lens? Without. Better with or without, with or without, slightly without, excellent. Let's just drop that down 
I can go for a minus 025 diopter sphere is the smallest row clearer with the lens or without or about the same it's with or without or with Excellent. Okay, we'll change that lens in the frame for you. So now we have a minus oh seven five diopter sphere. There we go. We're just going to reverse things a little bit with the plus lens. Now this should be a little bit worse so is the vision a little bit more blurry with compared to without slightly without excellent that's what we wanted now this is a very fine plus 025 diopter sphere should be a little bit worse in theory but let's see is the smallest row you see clearer with the lens or without. That's with or without. Or maybe slightly with. Okay, we can reduce the sphere in the frame there. That's fine. So we've landed on a minus L50 diopter sphere there. Excellent. Okay. We're going to move on to some cross cylinder. So essentially this is using the Jackson cross cylinder here to check if there is a little bit of astigmatism in your prescription, which is essentially rugby ball shaped eyes. So that is the minus 025 Jackson cross sill flipper lens. So your job is to keep your eye on the round up at the top of the chart. I'll show you two lenses, one after the other. And you tell me which one you feel is the clearest or if it's about the same. Okay, so looking at the R, clear with lens one or lens two. It's one, two, or about the same. One slightly too, that's fine. So we're going to pop a minus 025 diopter cylinder into the frame for you there. Move it across there, excellent. Still looking at the R. Is it clear with lens 1 or 2? It's 1 or two. Just move your head to the left a little bit, please. There we go. I'm going to keep your head there. Try not to move. Okay, and now is the hour clear with lens one or two? One or two? What about the same? Good. Let's check from this angle now. Is the hour clear with lens one? Or lens two. One, two, okay. I'll rotate the lens there. And again, is the hour clearer with one, two, lens two, excellent. Okay. So it looks as though we have a prescription of minus L50 diopter sphere with a minus L25 diopter cylinder at 145 degrees there. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Just relax for a second. Now we're going to do a little near vision test with some more with or without the lens. Okay, I'm going to use this little test chart here up close. Okay, I need to know what is the smallest print you can read on the page for me. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, let's
let's move on to the next near vision chart. I have the Shamir near vision chart. A little bit different, more specific text. So what is the smallest print you can read down to please on the chart? It gets very small at the bottom. Okay, so maybe here just a bit. Excellent. So we have a size of N5. Excellent. Now yeah. I'm going to ask you to look at the N5 print. I'll show you some more lenses and you tell me if the print is clearer with or without. So I just have a small plus out 50 diopter sphere here. Okay, looking at N5, is it clearer with the lens? or without, with, or without, or about the same, with, or without, excellent, excellent. Let's just see what the plus one diopter sphere does for you. So we're going focusing on the print here. Is it clearer with the lens, or without, with, Fantastic, I'll leave that one out and we'll try one more lens, plus R25. There might not be much difference here, but I just want to confirm. Is that print clearer with or without the lens? With or without? Excellent, okay. I think we have the results of the refraction there. Thank you very much for coming into the clinic. That's all we need.